Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a happy Monday. It's the 19th of June, it's 1.30 p.m. I got a little bit of a late start here today. Uh, I wanna welcome you to National Haymaking Week up here. According to the weather pattern and everything else, it's go, 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 go time. Uh, in fact, Dad has joined forces um, and he's running the uh, the other John Deere disbine. Um, <clears throat> he's knocking down a property today for dry small square baling and another property tomorrow. Uh, today, I'm dropping this magical beast. I wanted to do this video here because I've been saying for years when we do our little crop check uh, videos up on what I call the three corners. I'm always reiterating to you how, how damaged this, uh, this back half is from deer. And don't get me wrong, the deer are in here thicker than thieves, but uh, look at this monster. Look at this freaking monster. I did spend a little extra time with the fertilizer buggy on this back half. I will admit that right now. Uh, don't give me too much credit. You don't want to know what the smaller operator's fertilizer bill was this spring. Uh, I'm going to stop there. Uh, this is this is scary to be very honest with you uh, in a very good way I'm kind of joking around a little bit here uh, it's thicker up towards the front this is a very slow process for me I want this nice and crystal clean uh, I'm literally you're about to witness how slow I'm going and I'm fine with that this is my job today uh, this afternoon's, you know, knocking this down. And then after chores, that's maybe seven, eight, nine acres or so. That's getting knocked down flat for uh, dry realm baling. Uh, this will be baled Wednesday afternoon. Wrapped, obviously, Wednesday evening. I got to get a hold of my help here, too, and give them some proper notice. But uh, as you can tell, we hit the flower stage. I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm not milking cows. Uh, I'm completely fine with this. Uh, it, it just started to. Some may say, and it's okay, that this is shorter right here. It's not, folks. It's laying down. And that's what's... Uh, making it a little bit difficult. It's not difficult, I just, I need to run slower so that everything can be picked up the best that I can. Uh, you can see in a lot of spots, you know, up towards the front, uh, a lot of some of this is normal. Don't blame my disc buying, okay? It's the product. And I've got new knives in that damn thing too. But, uh, yeah, this, this feels good here. Uh, thank God for the alfalfa crop this year. And the, the magic that we've got here, according to that nasty-ass drought we went through. Because um, a lot of my grassier hay ground is... Uh, yeah, shit. This is damn near waist high. I do need to tweak my disc bind just a little bit, little bit. The next time I go after uh, knocking stuff down for high moisture, I want just a little bit wider. Ah, then again. Jesus, peace.
very grateful, very proud of what you're looking at here. This, uh, this makes it fun. This is not work. This is fun. I've had a, quite a few comments, and I understand it, um, about how I wrapped baleage right where I did last year. And, of course, I experienced a very hefty amount of deer damage. Well, I'm not willing to make my lines anywhere else. Where that line is, the ground is already beat up because of the lines that have been there in the previous years. What I'm gonna end up having to do, there's no choice in the matter, is I'm gonna have to protect this baleage in one form or another. Um, and I'm probably obviously gonna be going after uh, some temporary fencing with a, uh, a solar fencer. We'll see. Well, no, there's nothing to see about it. That, that's, that has to be done. So that's the answer on that. And uh, we're going to go from there. Folks, i got to be honest with you here, and we're not going to do a bail game here. We're going to have a bail game coming up at some point. This property here is about three acres shyer, if not a little bit more, than my what I call my big boy. I'm here to tell you, I think we're going to meet the bale count, if not uh, exceed it. This, uh, this grew in to be an absolute monster, and it's thick as thieves. So let's get going here. I actually got a quite a bit on my plate today. Uh, I am running late. But when the hell is anybody on frickin' time, you know? There goes a stone. There goes another one. This field's pretty rough. Man, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. We did a damn good job working this up a few years ago, picking stones. Hell, I had a crew of six people here. We picked for three and a half, four hours. But there's, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So yeah, that's what we got here.
had some comments in my day, and I'm fine. I'm fine with comments. I got some tough skin. Not a lot of people agree with my uh, cutting methods, my regiment here. We all have our own way. I do what I'm used to, what I feel comfortable with. That's all I can say. We do have some bad spots here. This field took a huge hit in about five different areas. They're not very big. As far as what I'm gonna call winter kill, where, you know, puddles of water and moisture form and froze. That's, that's, an, al that's an alfalfa killer. Uh, I got a pretty significant spot on the north uh, northwest corner. Um, but, it's price to be paid. Thankful with what I have here. I'm very thankful. Yeah, this is almost scary. It's going to be a long bailing afternoon. Happy Monday. I'm going to talk to you sooner and later.